It's Shimmy Gang, Shimmy Rex, Vagamore Squad. Like I was saying, you know, like right now we man literally ain't going cars and everything, we man chilling. And my artist name is Shimmy Gang, and I'm from the island of St. Martin. Well, basically, um, when I was in jail, they have this dude that used to check me for hash, whereas um, hash and French is shit. But no, the fact that he used to try to speak English, he used to be like, call me out, show the cell, like, he'll be like, yo, you have shit for me. Well, he never used to say, like, the for me. He used to be like, you have shit me. And I'll be like, whether I have or not, I'll be like, yeah, this, or I wouldn't have, I'll be like, no. And basically, I do, the fact that he always used to come and be like, shit me, I do the thought that my name was Shimmy. So, I know, I hear an outside, like, I hear somebody shouting, and they're like, Shimmy. She me, she me, and not like, I don't know who they calling. The next day, I had to go, I had to go somewhere, I had an appointment somewhere, and we ended up meeting like we was in the same um, waiting room. So he was like, yo, last night I was calling you and whatever, whatever, and you never answered me back. So I was like, he was calling me. He was like, yeah. I was like, you sure? He was like, yeah. He was like, you and she me? I was like, no. When I catch myself, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I she me, yeah. And then from there, I just keep the name she me, yeah. I remember like probably like eight years ago, I used to do music like with my cousins and them were, for the fun, it wasn't nothing like to release or whatever, it was just to like, you know, like hear our voices and whatever, like on an instrumental and that would be it. But then probably like, probably like last year, it was last year, yeah. I just, well, basically I have like probably three years just writing lyrics on a book and whatever, but never recording. So then last year I decided that, you know, like I can start recording my songs and releasing them and see what people think about them. And I released the first one, which was Money. And that, like, it wasn't bad. I ended up getting a lot of views and whatever. I think I was both. Probably in like a week, I was like on probably like 7K views or something like that. So like, I was shocked. So I was like, you know, like people might probably be waiting on more. So from there, I just start like releasing more music. To be honest, I don't really have much, but who I really listen to and whatever, and I would say would be like Young Dolph, Gucci Man, um, Juicy J, artists like those. I still listen to Tupac up to this day, so which means, yeah. Okay, well, the best advice I've gotten so far was don't give up keep your head up take all the bad reviews and everything as a motivation and continue pushing multiple people will give me the same advice but okay. i would be i would say like tito tito beats he's number one for sure i like the reviews that is be getting you know like when people be coming up to you like yo hey fuck with your song and whatever like you know like I would be walking in places like whether it's Super You and Marigot and Town or whatever, and they would just be like, yo, like, you shimmy gang, dog, like, dog, I fucking your shit, dog, like, you know, like, dog, your song lit. Like, like, you know, that's make me feel good. Well, yeah. Well, I've been getting, like, a lot of videos and etc. of, like, children, adults, and whoever, like, you know, everybody, like, dancing to my music, listening to my music, while they're driving, whether they cleaning or doing anything, so, yeah. So, if I could change anything, that would more likely to be, like, less violence, because I realize, like, in this rap game or whatever, like, they have a lot of violence and a lot of haters, for sure. A lot of non-supporters, a lot of people that can look to insult you literally for no reason. So that's something I would really like to change because I feel like we could more work with each other instead of looking to create any war in between each other. Well, I wouldn't really call my music trap, but obviously like a lot of trap niggas fucks with it, so it's like it's hip hop. I just yeah, it's hip hop. I believe my style of music, I don't never look to just stick to one type of style, you know, like I just try to jump on any kind of instrumental and do something, whether it's like a R&B instrumental, a hip hop instrumental, a jazz, like I would literally jump on anything and do anything. Yeah. So far, 
any projects, upcoming projects. Um, I do have a couple of feats coming out, which would be with um, Rate Me Club, Melee Nephew Cash, um, Cinco, and yeah, I do have a, I basically, I just had a feed drop recently with um, Dio Jizzle. So yeah, you should go check it out by the way. But different than that, nah, I don't really have any projects coming up with any other artists on the island. I'm mostly like focused on myself right now. Well, since I start really dropping songs, the artist, the big artist that reached out to me would be JK Vlog, which is a artist from Mada, Martinique. And what he named also um, Hazel, which is 21 Savage producer, telling me, like, you know, they really fucked with the songs and everything. And I think he has, some, so he has somebody else, but I can't remember who it is exactly, though. Yeah. Christopher Wallace from Big Much Grey. Well, if I had to open the show for any artist, wow, that would be, um, <laughs> that would be like, same thing, like I said, I would, that would be like, Big Mochi Grape, Key Clark, uh, oh, I, I fucks with Snoop Dogg, like, he's been on some shit, like, yeah, Snoop Dogg, NBA Young Boy, Young Dolph, if he was still here, Juicy J, Chief Keef, Chief Keef for sure, and yeah. To be honest, I would like to perform in the States. I feel like more heroes would hear me, like, would hear me out there. I feel like you would... Most of my supporters literally is in the States. So, I would more like to do a show up in the States, yeah. Okay, well, I find the internet doing, like, a very great job with the publishing and everything with the music. Like I said, most of my supporters is out of St. Martin. My supporters literally is like my most views come from when I check the list. My most views come from Guadeloupe, Martinique, French Guyana, France, and um, it had somewhere else, but I can't remember. But it was somewhere in the States, so well, the message I would like to give to my fans well, stay off of drugs, stop the violence, stay safe on the road. By the way, be on the lookout because. I got a lot of projects on the way. A lot. Well, my music literally on all platforms, whether it's Apple Music, YouTube, Spotify, Deezer, Amazon, um, literally on all platforms. Except so far, I think on um, SoundCloud. Only SoundCloud makes songs not on, but different and that is on everything. Audio Mac, everything. Well, my music good, to be honest. This may be dumb, but all I ever wanted, like from young, was to perform somewhere. Like, just to see like, if my music would be good enough that to the point somebody would want to book me to perform. Like, that is literally it. Yeah. To be honest, I don't even say if you have anything that's inspired me. It's just, I would hear, end up hearing an instrumental that I love. And I'll be like, yeah, I want to jump on this shit. And I would just end up doing it, but. They don't have nothing that is inspiring me. Basically, I hope, well, I would say, I hope instrumental does inspire me. That makes sense? Yeah. By the way, be on the lookout for Broccoli, which will be dropping tomorrow, September 24th, Saturday, September 24th. If you're watching this on Saturday, then the link should be in a bio. So just click and it will take you directly to the video. Well, you don't know if this was your boy Shimi Gang on the interview with Rate Me Club. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my music, though, like, for real, like, honest, like, honestly. And be on the lookout, because we're coming out hot. <laughs> and also, stand on your grind, uh, keep pushing, keep all your head up, and hold it down with the violence, for real, uh, rest in peace, Johnny and Titi, so on time.